Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're going to uncrate the all new HJC ARFA 31. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and give you the breakdown on the new ARFA 31 helmet from HJC, do us both a favor subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel. It only takes you a click. That way, you're up to date on all the latest gear coming your way. We're always doing our best to educate you, give you the first look of new product. Subscribe, and that way you won't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you could do so by simply shopping with us. There's a link in the description below to get you over to speedaddicts.com. It'll take you directly over to the new HJC ARFA 31 helmet. And we do appreciate your support. So I'm going with those corporate monoliths, support a family owned business. We appreciate that. Okay, back to the helmet. HJC has been around for decades. They're one of the leaders by volume of helmets. Uh, in the world for a long, long time. Sure, you've heard of them, have been riding more than a few minutes. In case you're not aware, HAC has a higher end skunk works department called the ARFA series, and that's where this helmet comes in. So this is a sport touring three quarter helmet. It's brand new for 2023. This is the ARFA 31. Now the whole idea between the ARFA series from HAC is to go out and compete with the absolute top of the top premium helmets out there. And I think they are there on this helmet. This is a really, really uh, refined, um, it's got every feature you could possibly want out of a three quarter sport touring. We're gonna give you the full breakdown right now. You are getting a premium price tag with Arfa products, although not quite as premium as maybe some of those Japanese helmets. Uh, this one, in case you're not familiar, HAC is actually a Korean brand. 429 to 444, depending on the colorway for the ARFA 31 at this moment. This shell is composite. It's their PIM Evo shell construction they use on all their ARFA products. It's a combination of carbon fibers, aramids, and glass here. So it is very lightweight. I don't actually happen to have the weight on this one, but it is very light for a helmet with interior drop down, three quarter, it's light. Weight is not going to be a problem here. Now, the US examples will only be DOT homologated. There's no ECE 2206 on here, which is uh, noticeably missing. Not sure why they made that decision here. I have heard a few different things as far as timing and production runs. They could make a running change later. Uh, the helmet has to be, the, the European versions of this helmet have to be 2206. So it stands to reason they could roll out that dual homologation at a later date. But at the moment, as it stands, we have DOT only. We'll update the video description later if that changes. Intermediate oval head shape. No surprises on the fit. Pretty standard HJC fit, which is right down the middle. And it is accurate according to the sizing chart from HJC that you're going to find over at speedaddicts.com. You're going to see sizes extra small through 2X. Go by the sizing chart in case you have any issues, though. Shop with Speed Addicts, get no cost returns. That's right, we're not going to nickel and dime you on that return shipping like those other guys. We're gonna give you that free return label, allow you to return or exchange on us. So give us a shot on your next helmet purchase. Uh, remember to qualify, all you have to do is live in the lower 48 states and make sure the helmet's in brand new original condition with the tags and bags, and we'll hook you up. Back to the helmet tier. We have ventilation that is quite sexy i like what they've done this is a similar venting system to some of the other new arfa helmets and it's actually got some like clear polymer here that's been mixed in with the painted to match uh, venting duct this gives it that kind of premium feel you have a rubberized dial here rubberized and billet dial that's going to slide this on and off and the mirror image over here on your left nothing in the crown area we're relying on these two ducts here for your intake. And then on the rear, you actually do have two sets. So you have a crown switch here, big panel switch all the way on, all the way off to open up those ducts. Under here, these passive vents are always on. When it comes to a three quarter helmet, of course, if you're not getting enough air, you just lift up that face shield. And this face shield does come way up and allow air to pass through it instead of being kind of stuck part way down. You have lots of clearance, so riding with the, the exterior face shield all the way up is definitely doable, and you have that sunshade. So if you're going through town, just want to rock the sunshade, some sunglasses, 
or nothing at all. You can move this up out of the way. Now, a few kind of new innovative things I've actually never seen on a helmet before, and I've seen plenty of helmets. This is actually a face shield catcher. So if you notice down here, it's got these uh, port or these these doors on either side, these flappy flappy doors. They're spring loaded, and they're saying close that visor. They're ready to catch it. Here we go. Okay, so that's gonna stabilize this extra long face shield. On three quarter helmets, they kind of have that Boba Fett look. They go all the way down, they're very long, and they can get kind of shaky at speed. They can have harmonics that are not pleasant. And so HJC's like, we're gonna build these crazy ass doors to like catch the face shield and lock it in place. It's kind of cool. It's something we haven't seen before. Also, another new feature, they have this extender. It's not very far, but it's something. It's like this little extra add a leaf on your face shield to give you a bit more coverage and help the airflow uh, underneath the helmet. So kind of unique. I'm not so sure it'll make a huge difference out there, but it is cool and possibly innovative. They're also using this new Triforce rotary motor looking pivot kit here that spins around inside of this pivot kit. This is also on a few of the new Arfa helmets. It looks cool, um, seems to function great, but we're not getting any detents here. So really this face shield, once you come out of those, uh, those lovely doors, you are all the way up or all the way down. There's nothing in between, just so you know. The face shield is sturdy and it is pinlock prepped. You notice the pinlock nipples on both sides of the helmet. They're gonna even kick you that pinlock insert in the box. I don't have it to show you here, but rest assured you're gonna get a pinlock insert that is going to make a dual pane exterior face shield out of this to deal with fog if fog is something you deal with. We open up the helmet and check out this internal sun visor up and down, controlled over here on your left side, underneath your comm system doors. Okay, more on that in a minute. Now, another thing they're carrying over from other, some of these other new HJC ARFA helmets is their adjustable uh, sun shield. So this does have three steps in how far it will come down. Everybody's noses are different sizes, their faces are shaped differently. They're accounting for that. So if you've had a face shield that doesn't come down far enough, it's in your, in your vision or it's hitting your nose, this is the answer. So once we flip it over, I'll show you, you remove this door. That, actually, I'm gonna make you wait. Let's just open it up here. Let's see. I'm gonna be flying blind, but I think I can do it. Or maybe that's optimistic. Stand by. There we go. Here is the door. This is gonna be part of your controls if you use the HJC smart system made by Senna for your Bluetooth comms. Otherwise, you can remove this door to simply adjust how far the visor is gonna come down. So let's pull that up. And then you can, if you want, again, it's three steps. We want that visor to come down further or less far. You just kind of adjust where that step is. So this is a stopper. Something cool, something innovative from the skunk work side of HJC. Okay, let's just flip it over. I'm struggling with this door, I'm sorry, here we go. Let's click this back into place, perhaps. There we go. Okay, when we turn this over, you're gonna see that it is prepped for the HJC Smart Series Bluetooth communicator. You have two options with this helmet. They're both part of that new gen from HJC. They had an initial gen, which was the 10Bs and the 20Bs. Those are dead. If you're looking for those, they're not gonna be made very much longer. If you want one for one of your older HJC compatible helmets, get them while you can, because those are not gonna be made anymore. The new HJC helmets are all gonna accept the, either the 21B or the 50B. And those are made by Senna. And the 51 is equivalent to a 50 series and the 21, so on, you get the point. Uh, if you want mesh, you gotta go with the 50. If you don't care about mesh, you can save some money and go with the 20. Now, the audio quality on both of those is the same and they are meant to plug in to these ports. So you have the battery pack in the back. You have the controls on your left side and if you go with the 50 series, you actually have another set over here, a set of controls on your right side. So very easy installation, installs in a few minutes, but it does make it difficult to run a different universal comm system 
on the Arfa 31 here. So you're gonna have to move backwards. You're gonna have to mount that thing pretty far back, maybe use an adhesive mount. You probably get a clip under here, but you're contending with the door for the integrated comms and the sun shield slider in that position. It's the trade-off for an integrated comm system from HJC. Okay, back to the rest of the helmet here. Removable washable liners, D-ring closure. No big surprises. Interior is nice. We have multiple panels here, some nice looking stitching, premium stuff, moisture wicking, washable liner system that we're gonna remove for you real quick and reveal that multi-density EPS liner. Speaker pockets, which can be uh, commandeered for a universal kit or that HJC kit I was talking about. 3D foam cheek pads here, pretty robust. They will break in. Remember when you're fitting your helmets, buy them a little on the snug side account for about 15% of break in because this low density foam, once you sweat in it, you wear it for a few months, it will give. With those out of the way, you see the cheek pad compartments. There we are. And we'll remove this comfort liner so you can see the ventilation and the EPS system. They've gone with the brow clips, which are different than the snaps. So you don't have any snaps for hot spots in your forehead area. They went with the brow attachment. There's your comfort liner, and that's what the back of it looks like. Interior finished off in black, channels, ports, in all those places to let that airflow happen and keep you cool, calm, and collected out there on the road. That is the HJC ARFA 31, a premium three-quarter sport tour, available in lots of new school colors, like this kind of Nardo gray look I have here on the counter. Now, if I didn't answer a question you got, don't worry. Our writer support team is always standing by at speedax.com where you can talk to a human over the phone, emails, live chat, you pick. Also, if you've already got one of these, they haven't been out very long, but when you do, put what you think about it in the comment section below. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.